There is a ton of confusion out there on the difference between a data scientist and a data analyst, and this is a big concern because your career and your life and happiness depend on this decision. Well, luckily you've come to the right place because once and for all, we're going to define the difference between a data scientist and a data analyst and explain which is the right choice for you to make. Okay, so what do each of these professionals actually do? Well, according to Wikipedia, the definition of a data scientist is someone who creates programming code and combines that with statistical analysis to create business data insights. Not very helpful, I mean, it is accurate. If you ask Wikipedia what a data analyst does, they clean, transform, and model data to get insights as well. So if you asked Wikipedia what the difference between these two things are, really you would use different words to say they're exactly the same thing. Now we know that's not true, so I'm going to ask Indeed, a popular job board, what they have to say on the matter. They actually claim that data analysts will work closely with data scientists to align goals in the company. So I mean, at least now we know they're not the same thing because they will work closely with each other. But still, not very helpful, so let me compare the skills that a data scientist would need with what a data analyst would need. According to K2 Data Science, the top five skills that every data analyst needs are Python, R, SQL, Tableau, and Excel. Whereas data scientists need Python, SQL, Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, and Spark. Ding, ding, ding. There it is. Machine learning frameworks. That's the difference. A data scientist is expected to know machine learning, and that encompasses deep learning as well. Now, of course, there's no reason why a data analyst can't pick up machine learning and start learning and applying that as well, but a data analyst is not expected to know ML, whereas a data data scientist needs to know that stuff. Now beware, there are many job ads out there that claim a data analyst should know machine learning and deep learning as well. This is wrong. If that is true, they should change the title to data scientist or something more specific. Okay, now hold on. We definitely aren't done here. We still have to figure out what's the best choice for you to make, either learn machine learning and become a data scientist or stick with data analyst. It's a little bit easier, but there's a lot of trade-offs here. Let's have that discussion. Now, as we already saw, there's a lot of similarities between the two. Either way, you still have to learn Python or R. I definitely prefer Python, but pick one. And SQL is an absolute must, whether becoming a data scientist or an analyst. And to become a data analyst, I'd also recommend learning other visualization tools like Tableau and reporting services like SSRS, and you can also learn those as a data scientist, although you probably won't use them quite as often. Now, if you have these skills, like you can code decently well with a statistical background, you know SQL, you can probably also do visualization and maybe reporting, then you're good enough to get an entry level and maybe a medium level data analyst job. According to Glassdoor, that'll give you about 60,000 Canadian per year in Canada, which is, you know, not super luxury but a pretty decent standard of living. And in the USA, this equates to roughly 70,000 USD, which definitely makes it even more worthwhile if you can get a job down there. So I think that becoming a data analyst is a great choice for many people because it's not too much work, although of course it's work, but it pays off very quickly. There's also not too much emphasis on being a super strong programmer because often you're just writing these one purpose scripts that are gonna get you the information for whatever you want. Also, although an academic background is always encouraged, I think there's a little less emphasis on the academia and a little more on the business sense, even the Google Data Analytics certificate down below you can get will greatly benefit you in getting a job. In contrast, I think becoming a data scientist is a fair amount more work. Down below in the video description is my roadmap and the certificates I think would help if you're interested. So for becoming a data scientist, not only do you need to know Python and SQL very, very well, those are your two critical tools, there's also a ton of machine learning, both theory as well as practical frameworks that you need to know as well. I also think there's a stronger emphasis on being a better programmer as object-oriented design principles, back-end and front-end programming, could all help you make a deployable machine learning app. So yeah, it's definitely more work, although I think it's very fun. And the salary comparison, if you want to check that out for yourself, I left the Glassdoor links in the description if you want to take a look. But the gist is that, yeah, the salary is quite a bit better. Along with the high salary also comes a better job security, as you are more specialized for sure. So you should have less concern about losing your job if anything bad happens to your current one. But most importantly, guys, do what is interesting to you, because I am a data scientist because I think it is fascinating. When I took the deep learning specialization, my eyes really opened up to figure out I can solve any problem now that I can code and do all this machine learning stuff. If I was a data analyst, I just don't know if I could say the same thing. So maybe I am a little bit biased towards data science. What are you going to do about it? But that being said, I think both jobs are in pretty high demand right now. And as long as you work hard to stay ahead of your competition, I think you'll be fine no matter what. So I think the thing to take away from this video is that data analyst is a great job and a great choice for many people. I think it's a faster route to a pretty good job. But if you can take that extra step and learn machine learning, becoming a data scientist would really pay off in my opinion. As always, guys, if you like the video, please drop a thumbs up. It helps way, way more than you know. If you're not subscribed right now, get on that, and I will see you in the next one.